Hi, my beautiful people, Zem, and welcome back to another video. Okay, y'all. Oh, we are wrapping things up rapidly. See what I did there? Wrapping things up rapidly. <laughs> Anyways, this is the gym high you're experiencing. And also, I know you see it. I always feel extra good when I get to wrap my bread. Anyways, 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 anyways. Welcome to week six of this Launching Your Brand series. And we are going to be wrapping up these next two weeks this week and next week so let's jump into this video for week six we're gonna keep it short we're gonna keep it sweet we're gonna keep it simple so the specific topic for today and yes i have my notes again is five unexpected costs within my first month as a brand new brand owner okay the first one a p.o box okay i really didn't think about having a p.o box or that being a cost when i was thinking about starting my brand for example you know when you order from a company and they have you they have a physical storefront obviously that's the address that you or their warehouse that you would return your items to but as a small brand owner, you have to really take into consideration security and efficiency. So whether you operate your business from your personal home or not, I would highly advise that you don't have your personal address on your return as your return address when you're mailing out your orders. That can become a very, that can become a safety hazard, right? So you don't want people with your personal address. So that's when you have to go and outsource and get a PO box. I literally didn't notice that I would need a PO box until I was packaging my first order. And I was typing up my address and everything. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. These people gonna have my personal address? That is not safe. And immediately I went and I looked up a PO box. Now you could go to through a USPS directly, or you could just go online and Google virtual PO box and see what works for you. But that is also a cost though. PO box, depending on what you get, but the one that I got is a monthly subscription. So that's a cost that will just sneak up on ya. All right, let's jump into the second unexpected cost this one yay yeah, was unexpected in the sense that i didn't notice how quick it would add up and it's the shipping fees when you're trying to get these things to your customers <sighs> depending on where your customers live and where you're offering your services the shipping fee is going to vary by a couple of dollars first of all it's also going to vary based on the weight of your product if you have a standard weight, like you ship the same products, that one won't change that much like I do with my gym sets. But they do change based on where your customer lives. And it's only a couple of dollars at a time, but it adds up, right? So you need to decide, are you gonna factor in a shipping cost for your customers where they cover their shipping costs fully but then you have to really think about, I'm still trying to figure this part out, by the way, if you didn't understand. I'm still trying to figure out how do I factor in a shipping cost that meets the need of most places that I offer shipment to in the US. I did include an option for shipping, but it doesn't cover the full cost. So most people who order, they cover a part of the shipping cost and I cover the other part basically from my from my orders. So that's something you need to keep into consideration. I'm still on the hunt. I'm still in the process of learning alternatives that will save more money on shipping. But that one definitely adds up. I do know that you could get shipping equipment for free if you apply for them online through UPS, I believe, or USPS. One of those two will give you free boxes, tape, and stuff. You just gotta order it online. But 
Yeah, that shipping will catch you off guard. <laughs> and to who's time to jump into number three. Website subscription. That is something I also didn't think about, but it depends on the route you go for your website. If you're going to go the route of a prepaid website that you just fill in the dots, that comes at a cost, right? That comes at a subscription cost. So monthly money that is coming out of your income. Now, I'm guessing if you get your website built from scratch, it may be a one-time fee. Either way, your website is going to cost you. Whether it's a small sum or a subscription, it's a cost. That's important because you need a website. So yeah, keep that into consideration. Number four. This one, it's not that it's unexpected, but I didn't really think about it when I was thinking about starting the brand. Like this is not something that was on the front of my mind. It was more so on the back of my mind, but it's important. And it's the cost of photo shoot branding all of that video shoot photo shoot it's super important because the pictures you put out to the world are kind of the for one of the impressions one of the first impressions that people have of you and your brand so whether or not you have somebody doing it for free or you're paying eventually there's gonna be some kind of money that goes into photos and videos which is highly recommended so keep that into consideration obviously with this new technology and these new smartphones you can get quality pictures from your smartphone let me tell you a lot of my instagram pictures for lead i did a mini photo shoot in my living room with my iphone right so yeah but it does add if you want to upgrade and get other photography, if you want to do different scenes, if you want to do something more fancy, more clean, more professional, it may cost you. So keep that into mind. Photo group shoot. Oh, and another thing with photo shoot, why that may be an unexpected cost is it's not necessarily a one time thing. Every single time you are growing and you have more merch or more product you're gonna need photos right so it's a it's a balance between paid photography paid professional photography and using your own resources right so for example i'm in the in the fashion industry technically so we are gonna have releases for every season so with every season we gotta show out and we gotta show out we need new pictures so that definitely adds up all right, and last but not least, let's jump into number five. Y'all ever heard the saying that you have to give in order to get? Like, if you want to make something, you got to give something. Yeah, it's very true, especially when you're a smaller brand. I don't like to use the word small brand. You're a growing brand, right? Paid promotion is one of those. So via social media outlets, you could pay for a promotion directly on those mediums, directly on those platforms. They give you advertisement tools, which 10 out of 10 recommend. Or you may go the route of finding an influencer that matches your brand and matches your niche and paying them to rock your brand because nobody's doing anything for free anymore and rightfully so. Either way, promotions is something that may be unexpected. It may sneak up on you because even if you do small promotions at a time, which is what I've been doing because budget, my budget is not large, they add up. Because if you do a $10 promotion once a week or twice a week, that's $20 times four weeks, you know, it just adds up. So keep that into consideration for sure. So to sum up some of my five unexpected costs, and I'm pretty sure... Those are the ones that are on the top of my brain because those are the most prevalent ones right now. First one, PO Box. Second one, shipping fees to the customers. Third, website subscription. Fourth, photo shoot. And five, paid promos. As usual, if you have any further questions about anything that I spoke about today, please feel free to comment. Message me on Instagram. You can message leads. IG page at this point my personal IG page drop in the comment I want to help as many people as I can just so you know your costs 
don't let cost be a deterrent for you to start trust me you will figure it out you will figure it out just stay informed do your research start where you are with what you have and i hope me shedding some light on some of the stuff i didn't think into take into consideration if you're someone who's about to start at least now you have the opportunity to take these things into consideration and as usual you know me appreciate you you know me appreciate your love me appreciate your support you just like, come out every week i watch me and I support me and i don't take that for granted so if you like it like it share to your friend them subscribe turn on your post bell notifications and until next time bye bye <laughs> bye <laughs>